Hi guys, in this video, I will be showing you how to root Android phone without PC or TWRP. This method is simple and straightforward. But before we begin, here is what you will need. First, you will need another Android phone to run fastboot commands. Second, OTG adapter and a USB cable to connect both the phones. And lastly, install a free Android app on another device uh, known as Bugchizer or Bugchaiko, whatever it is. Make sure you have everything ready before starting. Now a quick disclaimer, this method won't work for Samsung devices or any phone that doesn't support fastboot command directly. Also if you are using Xiaomi phones, unlocking the bootloader without PC requires more expertise. So I recommend watching this video from starting to end to avoid any issues. This method for rooting Android phone without PC uh, will work for most of the devices running on Android 13, 14 or Android 15. And here, as you can see, I'm using Google Pixel 6a running on the latest Android 15. Uh, before we start, let me show you my device is rooted or not. Uh, so let me open a uh, root checker basic app for this and then click on verify. Here, as you can see, I'm getting a message saying, sorry, root access is not properly installed on the device which means device is not rooted yet. So let's root this. First thing first, we need to enable developer option. Uh, to do this, go to the settings and scroll to about phone. Uh, and here you need to tap on build number seven time until you see a message, you are now a developer. So developer option is enabled, go back and open uh, system settings. And here, as you can see developer option. So open it. Now we need to enable OEM unlock option, uh, which allow your device to unlock the bootloader. This is a crucial step to proceed with the routing process. Once it's done, next we need to enable is USB debugging option, uh, which allow Android device to communicate with the second phone uh, via ADB command. Once both the options are enabled, next we need to download some files. Uh, so let me open browser and I'm going to download the magic APK first. I will provide a direct link in the description below so you can easily download and install it on your phone. Now the next and the most important step is to download the firmware for your specific device. This is crucial because we need boot.img file from the firmware to complete the routing process. Guys, boot.img file is a part of firmware that contains what your device need to start up. Uh, so to download the specific firmware, we need to identify a device model and you can easily find this in settings. Uh, for instance, in my case, this is my specific name. Uh, so copy this name and download the firmware with the same name. Make sure to take a note of this name and copy it exactly. Once you find and copy and build number, simply paste into the Google along with the device name and also add uh, your firmware next to your keyword. Always ensure that you download the exact firmware that matches your device. If you are unsure or need further assistance, just let me know in the comments. If there is enough interest, I can create a dedicated video for each and every device, guiding you uh, through the firmware download process step by step. Once the firmware is downloaded, the next step is to extract it. So let me extract it. Once the firmware is extracted, search for the file within the extracted folder, specifically looking for boot.img or boot underscore init.img. If you find only boot.img file, you can use uh, that for the next step. You will need to use boot uh, init file uh, in the upcoming steps. Here I have only boot.img file, so I will move this file to the download folder for easy access. Now we need to create a patched file. So let's open Magisk app and click on install. And then click on select and patch a file option and navigate to the folder where you placed boot image file. Once you select the boot image file, uh, Magisk will start patching it. This process might take few moments, so be patient. So guys, as you can see the message indicating that file has been successfully patched. And uh, our patch file is saved to the download folder. So let's verify this. So 
so yes here is our patch x patch file now we are ready to move on the next tab and guys make sure to move this uh, magic boot image file to another device as i already moved this uh, boot file into my samsung device on your other android device download the bugjizer app i will provide the link in the description below once downloaded connect both phone using the otc adapter and cable once you connect the devices uh, bugjizer app will automatically open Now you will need to allow USB debugging permission uh, for your main device. Simply select always allow from this computer and then click on allow. On the other device you can see my device is showing here. Uh, which means our device is successfully connected to our Samsung device. Uh, now in the Bugjizer app uh, click here and then uh, select option reboot to bootloader. Once you select this option uh, our device will automatically boot into the bootloader mode. So wait for it. And yes, as you can see, my device is now booted into the fast boot mode or bootloader mode. Next, in the Bugjizer app, click on this option to open fast boot terminal. And here, type fast boot devices to check devices connected properly or not. And as expected, our device is connected. Now, type the command fast boot flashing unlock to unlock the bootloader. Once you run this command, a pop up will appear on the main device asking for confirmation to unlock the bootloader. Now use the volume key to navigate uh, through the options and then press power button to select the option to unlock the bootloader. So our bootloader is unlocked. As you can see device state is marked as unlocked. It's mean uh, device is successfully unlocked. Next it's time to flash magic patch boot image. So on the other device open fastboot terminal again and type this command fastboot flash boot and the location of the patch boot file. So let me select a uh, patched file. Once you select it, simply click on this button to flash it. So the boot image has been successfully flashed. Uh, now press power button to restart the device. Keep in mind that first boot might take quite a while, so I am going to fast forward it. Once your device boots up, you will notice that everything has been reset because unlocking the bootloader formats all the data. You will only see the Magix app uh, installed on your device. So go ahead and open it. Here you will see Magix is installed, but uh, the device is not loaded yet. Uh, to confirm this, let me quickly download the root checker basic app. Uh, let's open uh, this app and click on verify as you can see device is not loaded yet because we still need to flash boot image using the magix uh, app directly so open magix and then click on update and then click on select direct install after that click on the let's go option to initiate the process once the installation is complete you will see a confirmation message now it is asking to reboot the device to finalize the routing process so go ahead and restart it. So my device is now rebooted. Uh, let's open matches. As you can see there is no option of update in the matches. So which means we have successfully root our device. So that's a wrap up for today's tutorial on how to root Android device without PC or TWRP. If you follow along, congratulations, you should have root access on your device. If you have any question or encounter any issues during the process, feel free to drop a comment below. I am here to help. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye. This is Jarvis signing off.